Hey everyone, it's J.I.V. Lee, aka Nailfertiti, back with another tutorial. Today we're going to be doing this vampirous Halloween freestyle that my client wanted. She had like some pictures um, of like inspo that she got off of like Pinterest and Instagram and stuff like that and then she wanted me to like put it together for her and this is the design that I came up with so to prep for the acrylic I am going in I already pushed back the cuticles and used a cuticle bit um I just forgot to show that part and now I'm going in with my cuticle nippers and cleaning up the cuticle area um cutting off that excess dead skin at the cuticle um that the drill bit lifted from the nail bed Now I'm going in with my pink sanding bands that I get from Melody Susie off of Amazon to uh, like rough up the surface of the nail very gently. Um, I'm so excited for Halloween, y'all. Like, I am so excited. October really took our money and ran. Like, October, so much has happened in October. And at the same time, like, I feel like October was... October was definitely the fastest month of the year because there's no way it's already past the 20th. Like, that's really crazy to me. Um, yeah, but I'm, in, I'm super excited for Halloween. I just finished buying, like, everything that I need for my trick-or-treating costume um, because my family and I were going as Care Bears. I am super excited for that. I got the dog's costume. It fits. She feels comfortable in it because at first it was too big. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm going to have to buy another one. I'm glad I was, like, buying these costumes early. You know what I mean? I'm glad I was buying the costumes early so then all the mistakes I was able to fix, like, early. But, so I had the dog's costume and my trick-or-treating costume. Um, I still need a costume, so I'm throwing a, like, Halloween game night uh, next Friday. <laughs> if you know, you know. Um, but I'm throwing a little game night next Friday and um, I have yet to buy any type of uh, <laughs> food for that, which I will be getting, the, uh, uh, you know, getting like I'll be getting the food um, soon. I'm not stressing about the food because if anything, if I have to buy a couple pizzas, I'm going to buy a couple pizzas. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not about to stress out about the food or whatnot because food will be there. Um, but yeah, uh, my Halloween costume for the party, I'm going to just wear like a denim skirt that I have, but the top, I want like a specific color like blue color for the top because it's like it's the female um fin from adventure time and they wear like a specific like light blue color top um yeah so that's gonna come in today or no i think sometime this week and then my other sexy going out i'm going as sandy from greece like her black outfit I'm going to recreate that, um, and that's going to be, like, my sexy going out outfit. <laughs> so, yeah, preparing for Halloween has been expensive as hell, but I'm so excited for Halloween. Like, I love Halloween. It's just going by way too fast. Like, slow down. Let me enjoy it a little bit more. Like, damn, October? Like, for real. Um, yeah, so I'm using my 8080 grit nail files you already know to shape and uh sharpen out that shape 
and look at that like before and after is really crazy so i cut the sides of the tips to kind of like pre-shape the stiletto so it doesn't take as long to uh file it just straight from like a regular square you know what i mean um and i can't believe as a beginner i used to be filing stilettos straight from a square like that's insane work like cut the sides up a little bit so you all know i've been using the moraven um dehydrator and nail primer i actually really like it like it works very very well um i bumped one of my nails yesterday because i was carving pumpkins but other than that i have not had any uh lifting at all and even though i bumped my nail like it's lifting a little bit it's it's already been maybe like almost three weeks since or like since i've had these nails it's been like almost three weeks so i'm not too mad that there's a little bit of lifting because that makes sense um yeah so i use the moraven dehydrator and primer use young nails protein bond once before applying the acrylic and the acrylic that i'm using is valentino beauty pure's classic nude um we love this acrylic cover powder for her hands so we always use like a nice nude base um yeah i'm still trying to like get more comfortable with stiletto nails i'm not gonna lie because i feel like the way i don't know i just feel like i'm i'm not the most i feel most comfortable with like square coffin duck you know other even oval i feel more comfortable with than stiletto i don't know why specifically stiletto um be tripping me up like that but uh yeah i feel like with this set i did a really good job so for me um applying stiletto like application on stiletto can be a little like i don't know where i want the apex to go type of thing I don't know like I just be I'm not gonna say overthink but maybe it's also with her hands because I've done stilettos that I really really liked on other people's hands maybe it's also like how her nails kind of like curve in a little bit um but for me applying acrylic to stilettos works best when I put like one bead for like the body um to cover the nail tip and the the where it meets the natural nail and then um do a cuticle bead and then another bead at the cuticle um just to make sure the apex is nice and strong because i don't want the nails breaking like in the middle and i don't want them to be weak like so they can't withstand a little bit of wear and tear because that's just normal for nails um and I'm able to like file it down to the desired uh, thickness that I want. Um, yeah. Oh, and before anyone asks, um, the spray that I'm using on her nails, after I apply the acrylic to each of her nails, um, I spray a little S. No here i am about to tell you all the wrong <laughs> information i spray a little bit of alcohol um over the nail so then when the acrylic cures it doesn't like burn her nail because i noticed um well i i know that i'm using like kind of bigger beads so i know it's like more likely to if it's if it's going to burn it's more likely to burn um because i am using like bigger beads so i just spray it with a little bit of alcohol after i finish applying the acrylic and then um it like takes away the burn as it dries so yeah y'all i have been absolutely loving these halloween freestyles for real like i love halloween i love that so many people have booked the halloween freestyle deal that i have going on i was not expecting um so many people to book uh because a lot of people just aren't super into halloween but the girlies have been eating up these nails i um haven't recorded as much <laughs> as i know i probably should have but 
months i have um been taking a lot of pictures and stuff i mean like i haven't been recording like the full process probably as much as i should have but like i don't know when it comes to like some of these freestyles i don't know exactly what i'm going to be doing um so it's kind of hard to like record when i don't have like a preset idea of what i'm doing even with this set like i didn't really have an idea or i had like an idea of what i would do um and i knew it would be like an easier design some of the designs i need to look at the reference photo like i need to look at the inspo pics because i did like a hocus pocus design and i'm not i'm going to say i am an artist i do know how to draw but you know i'm not the best um at drawing you know like copying images and stuff not all the time am i so good at it you know when it comes to like some design so like it was it was going to be very much a challenge <laughs> trying to trying to um you know do those nails and look at the inspo and do everything um but i will be posting those hocus pocus nails y'all will be seeing it and i think y'all will love it too as well because those nails ate so hard oh and this past weekend on friday we went to fill the screams um the one in maryland though not the one in pennsylvania um because i didn't feel like taking that drive and i'm not gonna lie it was overpriced like as a scary ass person like me i yeah like i'm scary down but even field of screams was not that bad i think field of screams is definitely for the children now because most of the actors you know the actors that like run up and scare you with their costumes or whatnot they were mostly going up to the kids to try to get the big screams you know what i mean trying to get the big screams trying to get the big reactions and stuff like that which i thought that was funny <laughs> i thought that was funny that they're terrorizing the damn babies um and there was a lot of children there like i think it was like a school field trip or something like when we <laughs> when we came i think it was like a field trip or something um because it was mad like middle schooler high schooler age children there i'm like damn isn't this past y'all bedtime like it was only 6 30 yeah but like in this past y'all bedtime <laughs> like um but it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun but it wasn't as scary as uh probably a different attraction would have been one of my clients actually this client that i'm doing her nails she was saying that she went to a haunted uh penitentiary like a real live haunted penitentiary i was like girl you are brave and crazy as hell because there ain't no way i'm going to a real haunted place like i like the fake haunted stuff and i feel like there are better fake haunted houses out there um which i will be investigating because i love going to a haunted house but yeah this one was not that scary field of screens was not that scary maybe it was also because it was a smaller field of screens i think the one in pennsylvania is like the first field of screens and like the main attraction it's like the biggest one this one was um a bit smaller but it was still it was still pretty cool the food was really now i'm going in with this fine drill bit that i got off of shein and it was as pictured um i'm going over the um acrylic with the drill bit i like to start at the bottom of the stiletto nail like thin that out and then tackle the apex and then the cuticle area um i do like shaping stilettos i think that it's a lot easier than or a lot less like you don't have to do as much with stilettos which i do like that and then you can use your e-file to straighten out the tip i don't usually do that with like my lawn non stiletto shape so that is pretty it cuts down on finally like after you apply it and use the e-file going in with your hand file it takes maybe like five to ten minutes for me to um finish like hand filing and shaping it and all of that um 
and you know this dust collector that i have is a cordless dust collector i just got off of amazon um i'm actually about to buy a different dust collector because i need something a little bit stronger like i feel like it works but the highest setting of the dust collector i haven't had this i've had this for almost a year and the highest setting on the dust collector already broke i don't know why but it just won't turn on when i use the highest setting but it'll turn on when i use the lower setting there's only two settings um and i found this uh other dust collector that's blinged out and everything and it has like 10 settings um so i'm like i will be once i return all my halloween costumes i'm not gonna lie i am returning these uh these costumes because i'm not going to wear them again so i got them off of amazon so that i can do like an easy return because there's a ups literally five minutes away from my house so um and i don't i i will say i will not i will i would not recommend buying stuff just to return it um because if you get it in the wrong size it's annoying to have to keep buying because i literally have bought i was gonna go as marilyn monroe as like my sexy costume at first but then um the dresses that i ordered two different dresses they were way too small um so i'm just gonna go with sandy from greece but yeah i i wouldn't recommend doing that i would just get something that like either diy a costume or go to goodwill or something get something for cheap that's cute you know and like make your own costume or even get something from fashion over or something you, get, you can't return that shit anyway so yeah you know what i mean like do it like that instead as a halloween connoisseur <laughs> so i'm going in with my 8080 grit hand file and like i said it's really easy to um like finish file the nails because i really just have to why that look like when i'm going over the nails it looks like i'm going really slow because my hand is going so fast wow that i'm sorry that just uh like look it looks like i'm going slow but i'm scrubbing the hell out these <laughs> out her nails to get that shape like the shape has got to be on a million i feel like that is one of my signatures the shape eats you know um but yeah i'm going in with the hair file and then i'll be going over it with some buffers that i got off of shein i love buying stuff off of shein like it's it's pretty convenient and it's cheap like these hair files literally come in a pack of 12 for like four or five dollars maybe even let maybe i gonna say 350 to five dollars which is so much cheaper than off amazon you buy 10 files for ten dollars which okay it's a dollar a file but i'd rather pay less than a dollar a file you know what i mean so highly recommend these nail files off of shein And what did I say? Shape to the gods. Like, these look so good. I be iffy about my stilettos, but then at the end, they just look so good. So for the designs, um, mostly the color or, yeah, all the colors I'm using are black, white, and red. People have been loving the black, white, and red this Halloween season, but I'm not too bad. Um, so... I'm just gonna let y'all see the design because it was actually pretty simple one hand i did mostly black the other hand i did mostly white because i was just like when i was doing the nails i was like let me switch it up like do one hand white one hand black because i think that's fire and it turned out very very well so i'm gonna just let y'all watch the design and uh or watch how i design these nails actually i'm gonna i'm gonna talk i'm gonna let y'all watch but i'm gonna also talk so i got these um gel polishes this gel polish i got from amazon i believe um if y'all follow me on my my instagram page you know exactly where i got these from um the polish from 
I should add a picture, but I probably will forget to while I'm editing this. Um, but on another note, I made I um one of my friends from high school. I always invite him to like my little house parties because he's just you know a cool guy, cool vibe, and um, people like he he adds a good energy to the party you know because he's pretty friendly and, and funny and stuff like that um so the other night he asked me if i wanted to match and if you know what matching is you know i'm not gonna go too much into detail with that um <laughs> but he asked me if i wanted to match and i was like Psh, yeah like shoot let's let's match um so he like pulled up we were in his car you know talking and matching if you feel me um and it was like it was actually really cool like so i don't like being friends with men because a lot of times you know good and damn well that they're just trying to get into the panties you know they're just trying to beat the duties down but with him like i was like oh, okay like you can tell when men have genuine female friendships because it's not like y'all we talk about sex but it wasn't in a weird way like i am just so i'm a little anti-man because i'd be so shocked when they're not creeps when they're actually smart and when they actually treat you like a human being like <laughs> i think i've had way too many bad experiences with men that when you actually do meet a decent guy it's just like oh wow you're actually a decent person versus these other dudes who like if they're not getting vagina from you or yeah if they're not getting vagina from you if you're not having kids by them they could not care less about you and i don't respect men like that you know treat all women with respect even if you're not having sex with them even if you don't find them physically attractive because that'd be the thing like men will like if they find you ugly they will show you that you're ugly to them and that's what i don't like about men like like you know you see an ugly dude and you're like okay he's still human though so i'm just gonna treat him like a regular human being but men if they do not find you attractive they will treat you like dog poop uh and i don't like that about men but i do i do like um creating like genuine friendships with men because it's like you know okay we could actually be friends like i can actually be friends with a man um and sometimes you do need like male friends sometimes just to get that like different perspective of like um you know because i want to ask him i you know met up with the next this week and i'm like maybe i should tell him about that um and ask him like was this done but then i don't even need to ask him because my other friends already told me that it was dumb so they've been saying don't don't message this ex but I definitely did, and I definitely found out the hard way. Definitely found out the hard way that this dude does not care about me. So, yeah. But at least I learned my lesson now versus <laughs> later, I guess. I don't know. Because um, I would have loved not to have learned that lesson. But, you know, sometimes you got to step in it to know that it stinks and yeah definitely stepped in it with that too so <laughs> yeah but i think this is like truly the last time that i'll be um like seeing the ex it just got very evident that he does not like me like it is very evident that he does not like me he does not really care for me um, because like even the simple things that I shouldn't have to like I shouldn't have to ask you as a man whether we're in a relationship or not I don't know to carry my bags like especially if you see it I have a big ass bag like you know what I mean like I don't know I just feel like as a man you got something that you need to work on because that like chivalry is dead and it's just like 
I'm definitely feminist, more feminist in my thoughts, you know what I mean? Like, um, but I feel like as a man, you should be like, yes, you're going to pay for us to eat when we go out. Like, duh. You know what I mean? Like, yes, you're going to pay for the dates. Yes, you're going to, you know, I expect you to open the door and do so. Like, I expect you to do the little things because we care about each other, right? But he don't care about me, so got my answer. Anyways, this is the final set. These vampirous Halloween nails, I absolutely love them. Fire, fire, fire. Like, look at them stilettos. They look so good. Once again, y'all, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it as much as I loved creating it for you. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share with all your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.